October is food month across County Wicklow. The food and drink events are taking place across the county for the whole month. My name is Ty, and as part of this October feast, I want to take you behind the scenes to meet some of the food and drink producers that County Wicklow has to offer. The first stop on my journey was Nick's Coffee in Wicklow Town. I was familiar with the original Ranel and Nick's Coffee, but had yet to visit its Wicklow sister cafe. This coffee shop first opened its doors four years ago, with a tiny little unit serving just coffee. After building up a loyal customer base for the first three years, Nick's moved two doors down to a larger unit and built a kitchen and started selling food. The first person I spoke to at Nick's Coffee was Andrew, who is one of the original baristas and now makes the cold soft drinks such as kombucha for the coffee yeah. shop. This is Nick's fifth year in Wicklow. Right, okay. I think so you're one of the founding members. Uh, so was it just you yeah. uh, doing sausage rolls and coffee at the start? Kind of. Yeah. In there. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. me and my younger brother, because uh, when Nick was looking to move to Wicklow, he came and stayed in the house. We have an Airbnb up in the house. That's right. Yeah. And that's that's where we came in. And then there was Ed, Ed Cornetto. And he met Valerie mm. and said, "Will you kind of run my coffee shop for me?" Basically, yeah. Yeah. yeah? That's the way it went. The cold drinks. Mm. that you've got brewing here. Um, when did you start doing them? Probably about six months ago. I think... Uh, oh, that recently, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I've been doing this for about six months. I started with, with peach iced tea. Right. Which is really nice because it's still there, you know? Yep. Yeah. And they sell. People have embraced them, like... When the weather's good. Or is it yeah. a case of building it, like, what, like, they try it and then they come back? Or is it... Yeah, most of the time. Well, when, when the weather is good, people will buy the cold drinks. And when yeah. the weather, you know, it's the same with the iced coffee. Yeah. As well as its coffee and its cold drinks, Nix has gained a steady following for its grab-and-go food options. I met with Chef Ross. He bakes everything from scratch in a little kitchen at the back of Nix. Savoury options such as sausage rolls, veggie and regular, home-baked bread, big selection of pastries and some tray bakes like brownies and lemon drizzle cake. The menu is currently being updated and soon you'll be able to order things like salads and soups to grab-and-go. Next up, I was chatting to Valerie, the manager at Nick's Coffee. She introduced me to some of the friendly locals like John and his little dog Pepper, and Dave, who's been a regular since the very beginning. She told me a little bit more about the ethos of the place and how Nick's it got up and running. It was a run. case of getting them in the door, yeah. and once they came in the door, and they tasted the coffee, and they had the banter, they came back, yeah. and we had them hooked. It's 2.30 for a flat white, it's 2.30 for an Americano, and the reason it's 2.30 for a flat white is it's the same two-shot coffee with less milk. 2.80 in a cappuccino because you've more milk, but it's the same amount of coffee. Perfect. No charge for extra shots. No charge for... We give reduced rates to all of our um, traders that work in the town and are coming in every day and we give them reduced rates and all services get to the coffee for one euro the same in Dublin and yeah. that would be Nick's main thing really important yeah. community or on the table community yeah community. Uh, nice so over here we've got a community book okay shelf, all right so this is bring a book take a book and we've been doing this from the very beginning you just bring in your old books and if you want to take one you take one and bring one back if you want to and if you don't it doesn't matter just take a book Nice. This is our own chutneys that we make here. Ross makes them down here. We've got some nice oils that we make. Very good. This is the craft section that we have and it changes every month. And right. we have different crafters who come in, locals, and they display their crafts here. We take nothing from it. It's just for them to display their crafts and benefit. They keep their prices down because they're not having to pay for their display. She's called Little Scrap is the name of her company. Again, she's Wickler based and she made all of these for us um, from recycled and upcycled clothes. 
artists can hang their paintings or pictures and these are photographs. Nice one. Yeah. And these also were donated by a customer. These three. Lovely. Yeah, and they're she cool. She just wanted to give them to us, didn't want anything in exchange, doesn't want any promotion. Um, it was just a gift. And it's all about community, that's the one thing that Next Coffee is all about. Mm -hmm. It's community, if we can help in any way we help. And there was me thinking this was just a coffee shop. This is a great example of how when small businesses support other small businesses, everybody benefits. Wicklow Naturally is an initiative to unite all of the like-minded food and drink producers across the county of Wicklow. To get involved, please visit the Wicklow Naturally website. It was time for me to leave Mixed Coffee, but I'm very much looking forward to introducing you to some of the other food and drink producers across County Wicklow. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.